did it. I got a 128 Commodore signed by Bill Hurd at the Vintage Computer Festival 2021. I did a little interview with him right before he went on stage. So I hope you like it. All right, Dr. Guillotine here with Bill Hur, <laughs> legendary engineer. I uh, first Wouldn't off, I just want to say, but yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to say, uh, first of all, the Commodore 120 was very special in my life, and uh, definitely influenced me as a designer, as a as a person uh, working in computers and, and today. Thank you so much for that, and I feel like a piece of you was inside that computer. Yes, and, and I feel like I, I I learned from that, and I'm still learning today from you. Specifically, blood all over the inside of that computer, but yeah, there was an amazing team of people that put that together, and we were all almost all of us just young, right? And just we didn't know it couldn't be done, especially in five months. So we did it, and then we showed management what we were doing, and they're like, "Well, that's a good idea. Why don't you just keep doing that?" What's amazing is that today it still lives on, that people really love that computer and really it's, 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 it's kind of has a cult following. And, you know, does that like impress you? Like, are you surprised by that? I, I can't believe any of the units work after 35 years. They were designed to work for three to five years, something like that. I can't believe anybody remembers them. But I, I will say that uh, it's sad when I see a show about the 80s and they'll show like a competitor's computer, but not the C64, right? That to me was the the pinnacle of home computers. Right, C sixty four. I I you know I, I feel like the one twenty eight is the one that people really go after. I can't I can't find them. They're very difficult to get your hands on. It, it's just an epic one. But I want to talk a little bit more about what you were saying. You saying that you're doing more than just engineer. What's going on today with Bill Hur? What is what's? Oh, I I just kind of hanging out, being an old man these days. So it's we do a weekly webcast under Bill Hurd with no space on YouTube. And we talk about the old time and we talk about new engineering and especially high speed electronic design. So we do that for the fun of it. But uh, no, I just basically show up at one of these uh, about once a year, every other year and just have a good time meeting people like you. Awesome. And uh, what do you think about technology today? Like, uh, is, it, is it impressive to you? Do you see things really going to progress and, 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 and really innovate further? Or have we kind of reached a I'm, plateau? I'm, 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 I'm real disappointed in graphic user interfaces these days. I just, I sit there and say, everything's advanced. And yet this, the screen is doing this stupid thing here. You know, when, when we learned years ago, no, the drop down does this first, you know? And so... Uh, there's instances where I really get mad at my phone, for example. <laughs> now, with that said, it's an Apple, so I'm allowed to get mad at it. So, But yes, I, I have an Apple. I, I have given in. <laughs> <laughs> so if a Commodore phone was to come out today, what would you make? What would be different about it? Uh, well, remember, Commodore is best known for making stuff cheap and toy-ish. So I don't know that I'd want a Commodore phone, but I'd sure want a Commodore to play a video game on when I was done with my phone call. Right. So you're about to give a speech. It's about your book. Uh, tell us a little bit about the book and uh, what, what can we what can we find inside of it? Um, it's basically it starts. It's from the viewpoint of a young kid walking into Commodore in around 83. And it's just a two or three year arc of just all the projects we did and, and everything during that time. I call it act two. I, I call Commodore a, a, a Greek tragedy in three acts. And I'm Act Two. I'm from the last 8-bit computer under Jack Trammell, the last, and then the last 8-bit computer that Commodore actually put out. And so it's that cusp when Jack left, but before the Amiga came. So I'll be talking about that. And we did happen to do about 10 computer versions, models during that time. So it was a real prolific time for us. Jack is a very interesting guy. Jack Trammell. Yes. Jack, Jack Trammell is a very interesting guy, and. Uh, you know, I, I, what can you tell about his personality that that people may not know about him? Is is he always that really hot-headed guy that no, you... No, I, I, I never saw that. Uh, we, I, I've never seen like a Jack attack or any of that. Um, when you told Jack you were going to have something done, you better have it done, you know? And, and no excuse in the world. It was still an excuse. So I was a child of that environment where we said we'd have it done and we were done. And that meant I had to walk over people, piss people off, whatever it took. But, you know, with a core of good people, we got it done. So I have nothing. Uh, I don't want to say Jack's one of my heroes, but he was one of those people I still aspire to these days. He's, yeah. he's still the boss in my book. And we were definitely loyal to him. Awesome. 
Well, we hope to see you again next year at VCF East. And, yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep doing your thing, and we're really going to follow you and, and learn from you further. Excellent, excellent. Nice talking with you. Thank you so much.